Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Uh, today we're going to show you guys how to fix a bumper, even if it's missing a whole chain out of it. Okay, that Mercedes right here, ML320. That's a very important vehicle to us. We use it to pull all the cars that we buy, sell, fix, uh, the Fiesta. When we go racing, we pull it with it. And uh, we might have another car as a project, which is very unique car. So stay, stay tuned, we'll see if we can get it. And uh, now stay with us to see how we are going to fix a bumper and make it like new with a big piece of it missing. So you don't have to spend money on a new bumper and you can do it at home. Anybody can do it. Quick update on the Fiesta. We should have the parts on Monday, guys. Monday, yeah, finally we can drive that thing. It's been sitting there for a long time. We've been so impatient to drive it and we'll have the parts on Monday. Another thing that we'll have, we'll have an uh, LED bar for that Mercedes, it's coming soon, we ordered it, so we'll have a video on that one soon. It's a really good company, so it's an amazing company for LEDs. So stay with us now, and uh, we're going to show you how to fix the bumper. And it's pretty expensive bumper, as you can see, it's cracked right here, and it's actually missing a whole piece, but it's still fixable. We'll show you how to do that and make it look like new, and save probably four or 500 dollars, because, uh, we, the procedure that we'll be using it will cost you cost you only about 20 bucks and uh, it's all also cracked right here as you can see so we'll be fixing this crack as well okay so for uh, that plastic uh, piece that's missing right here what we're going to do we have a bumper out of another vehicle plastic bumper and we're just going to cut a piece about the same dimension uh, dimensions as the other one as the piece that we're missing so we need to cut this one with a grinder Alright guys, we have the piece here, as you can see, we cut it, uh, we, we almost made it the same shape, it, it doesn't need to be perfect, it just needs to be a foundation to hold the, hold the epoxy that we're going to apply, as you can see, just like that, you can see there will be a little hole on the front, but that, that's fine, that's okay. Now we're going to use the rivet gun, and we need four rivets guys, you can, you can do it without the rivets, you can use just zip ties, uh, if, if you don't have any. Okay, and we need uh, drill about the size of the rivets here. And uh, we are going to drill a couple holes now, okay, on each side to hold it good. Okay, now right there. Okay, now we uh, insert the rivet in the hole, and with the rivet gun, we are going to get it tight. A couple times. And now we need one more hole on this side and two more on this one. Okay guys, we, uh, we installed five rivets actually, one holding it right here at the edge. And we made little holes with the same drill bit, okay, all the way around. That way when we use the epoxy, it will go in the holes and it will hold really good. It won't be able to peel off in the future and it will be stronger than the original bumper actually. Now with the grinder, we're just going to grind where we're going to apply epoxy now. Okay, as you can see, that's what it should look like. And now we need to get some sandpaper 12100 and just sand around it okay make sure that the paint is not shiny as you can see just like that because uh, if it's shiny it will not stick to it now we are going to use acetone and yeah? just apply on a on a rack and you need to clean the area really good make sure it's uh, there is no dust there is nothing greasy because it needs to be perfectly clean so the the compound will stick to the plastic. And we have the same thing going on here, that little crack that we had, we just uh, grinded it a little bit and we drilled holes and now we clean it. If you need mesh like that, you can get it from the lumber store, uh, it's the one they use for drywall, it's like one door for the whole big row. And we're going to cut a piece right here, you can actually uh, use other stuff as well, like a gauze. Okay, and uh, this will make it uh, really strong because the epoxy will go in the 
in the little powders here and it will stick really good and make it really strong it's like uh, what they used to make the boat that epoxy stuff same deal plastic it will be stronger than the original bumper once we are done with it okay we're just going to apply on the whole plastic here like that and uh, now we are using that quick epoxy quick setting uh, it, it, uh, it sets pretty quick after about 10-15 uh, minutes it's pretty strong but uh, you need to leave it for 24 hours to to uh, cure really good you can get the big bottles like that at Harper Freight tools for only six bucks because otherwise the little bottles uh, they usually cost five six dollars and this is the same quality really good we've used it in the past many times okay so we need to apply equal amount of both tubes and we'll need quite a bit so we will just use the whole the whole tube now for that bumper okay this is the second tube now and you need to mix it and start working with it uh, because after you mix it you have about three to five minutes depending on on the temperature and depending on the epoxy you're using some of them are uh, this is a fast setting they have a uh, slow setting as well you need to mix it good it's going to change the color and it will start smelling funny as well once once it's mixed good okay now you need to start applying on the bumper and uh, you will need to, depending on how big the damage is it might take more than one coat okay in our case uh, we'll see what we have after we're done with this one it sends pretty good so even if you have a thick spot later we'll show you we're going to sand it and make it smooth and nice okay just apply apply everywhere okay guys so that's what it should look like uh, you might leak a little bit here and there but it's fine we're going to sand it uh, you need to try to make it uh, as smooth as possible that way you will use less bondo and need to make sure it's thick and holding good so now we're going to let it sit for about 24 hours to get really hard so we can sand it all right guys what we're going to do now get a sandpaper 60 works great we're going to do it with the machine but you can do it by hand and we need to sand it to be smooth not to have high spots Okay guys and now you can see that's what it should look like real nice and smooth and now we're using bondo glass like that so uh, you apply it you know just like bondo the same way you need to apply it smooth it, it will never be perfect because this is pretty rough but it's a really good foundation so we're going to do a coat of that we're going to let it stay now for about an hour it gets really hard and we can sand it make it smooth and we will apply the fine bondo and shape the bumper the way it's supposed to be Alright guys, so what we're going to use now, it's a 60 cent paper, you can do it by hand uh, as I told you, but we're just going to use the machine to make it quick. And we need to, we need to sand that surface now, that bondo, the fiberglass, and make it smooth. guys and that's what it should look like as you can see it's getting it's getting smoother now and uh, what we need to do now we need to clean it and then we need to apply a, a, uh, a fine bondo on top of it and we'll be ready for primer and paint and as you can see the hole is gone now we shaped the bumper almost the way it's supposed to be so stay with us to see how it's going to look now after we're done sanding now we need to get us done again and we need to clean the the surface because we'll be applying the fine bondo so you want to make sure that you don't have any dust because if you have dust it's not going to work it's not going to stick and it will peel later so make sure it's clean before you proceed okay so we're using a lightweight fuel by 3m as you can see and if you need the part number this is a gallon a gallon container because we use it a lot at the shop but uh, you don't need as much you can buy a one cover will be way too much no matter what kind of bumper repair you're doing but usually a cover is about about eight ten bucks something like that we got a gallon for 29 dollars okay and after that you need to get some hardener the activator apply some uh, but don't put too much because if you do it's going to 
get hard in no time and you won't have any, any time to mess with it and now you need to mix it good until you have uh, the same color, the, 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 whole, the whole bundle that you're working with needs to be one color, not a darker or lighter blue. It could be red depending on the activator, some are red, some are green, some are blue, we've seen all kinds of stuff. Okay, and now you just need to start applying a thin layer. Uh, make sure, you know, if you have a low spot, you need to apply a little bit more. It will not look uh, perfect right now, but when we sand it, it's going to look great. Okay, this is really fine stuff. And after that, the only thing that we will have left after sanding, make sure it's perfectly smooth and we will need to prime it and after that the paint. So uh, as you can see that bumper that's almost 500 bucks, even more, that's for aftermarket one. If you go to Mercedes it will be way more than that. We'll be able to fix it with uh, less than 20 bucks. Okay, and uh, just the paint, but even if you buy a new bumper you still need to buy paint, so we don't count this as an expense. It's been, it's been about an hour and it's pretty hard if you can scratch it with your nails and not have anything left on the nail then it's good, otherwise it's still soft. So now we are going to go ahead and sand it with 120 sandpaper, we'll use the machine, you can do it by hand. Now you can get a wood bog with 120 or something close to it and you can, you can make it really smooth. You, just, you need to touch and see if you have a high spot or a low spot. Low spot you need to put, high spot you need to sand it. Okay, until you, until you make it perfectly smooth. And now we have a few, a few holes. As you can see when you clean it, like here, here and here. And we have one low spot right there. So we're just going to, uh, to cover those very thin layer and just sand it and it will be ready. You can see how, how good it looks already, shaped perfectly. So uh, as you can see, we covered the little holes, you just put a little bit and sand it and now it's all smooth as you can see, but you cannot uh, distinguish it so much because uh, you have all those different colors now, white, black, blue, depending on what, what you use. And what you need to do now, you need to wipe it with, uh, with alcohol or acetone on top uh, to make make sure you don't have any dust and we're going to prime it now. Uh, you can buy even a primer in a little can or a spray paint can. But we're using uh, one gallon we have here because we use it a lot at the shop but you can just use a little spray can they sell for like two, three dollars. So now we're ready to apply, we will need two or three coats of primer. Uh, you, you can use a spray can but we have the little gun here, okay? And, uh, you need to be out of uh, out of sunlight when you do that. Preferably, needs to be closed and use equipment. I mean, put a dust, uh, a mask, paint mask. Okay, we're going to do first layer at first to cover everything. Make sure we have a good foundation, and after that, we will do the second layer, which will be thicker. And now we will apply a second coat. Uh, you need to have, uh, if, if you are applying on the white, you don't have to on the rest of the bumper, but if you do, you need to wet sand it with 600 sandpaper. Uh, we will do that later. We will just do the area that we worked here now. Okay guys, and that's what it looks like after two coats. We are going to let it dry now. For, uh, for about four or five hours at least, but we will recommend one overnight and we're going to wet sand it, stay with us to see how we're going to do that. Hey guys, so it's been about, about 24 hours, it's pretty dry now, the primer as you can see. And what we're going to use, it's, it's a 220 cent paper on a, on a block, so you can even use a wood block. And we're just going to go a little bit and sand it to make it smooth. If we have a high or low spot, it is going to correct it. And if you see bundles sticking out, you will need to prime that spot again. But we will try not to go so deep that the bundle will stick out. We'll show you what else we need to do. Okay, that will make it really smooth. And, uh, because no matter how good you are at the bundle, you will always have a little bit of a low or high spot. Okay, so we'll just send a little bit like that. Okay guys, we're finishing now. You, you, as, I, as I said, you don't need to over sand it, just a little bit. Uh, and you can, see, you can see how smooth it is when you get it wet. 
And now we are going to use a 5 or 600, uh, whatever you have, sandpaper, 5, 600, you need to be fine because uh, it will be painting it now. So you need to buff the scratches out of the 220 and uh, what you need to do, you need to do the whole bumper like that, okay? Not just where you have primer, absolutely necessarily where you have primer, but the rest of the bumper. You need to sand it, okay, wet sand it until it's dull like that and you don't have a shiny spot. If you have a shiny spot like that, it's not good because the paint will not stick to it because it's, it's too slick, so when you wet sand it, as you can see, it gets, it gets dull. Okay, you see we have a shiny spot here, we still need to sand this one right there. It needs to look like that, really dull, no shine at all. And uh, go ahead and do the whole bumper like that. After that we'll just need to rinse it off, dry it and it will be ready for paint. So we are ready to paint it, we got the paint, as you can see the original Mercedes paint, okay, right here. And we're going to do two coats of it, two coats of paint and about at least one coat of clear coat. Okay, that's, uh, that's the paint that we use, automotive touch up, really good stuff. It comes pre-mixed with everything, so we're going to spray it now. Okay, you need to paint the whole bumper. Okay guys, we just finished it, we clear coated it, as you can see, you cannot even tell where the damage was, it looks perfect. You can see, that that's the spot where we had the big hole, okay, and the crack right here, all that is gone, we don't have anything, it looks amazing. Okay guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to give us a like, let us know what you think. We definitely need your feedback. We have our website coming soon guys, so you can check out our shirt, jet tags, uh, decals and all kind of stuff like that.